All right, we have now the um, T-Mobile HTC Amaze 4G. Um, figured we'd do an unboxing of that. Um, as usual, I've already taken it out of the box, so I'm just going to show you exactly what you get inside the box and what the phone looks like um, on boot up. Um, so you see we have the box. Um, it's a regular T-Mobile box. Um, the features, Wi-Fi, of course, 4G, Qualcomm, Snapdragon S3 processor. It's 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, 4.3 QHD high resolution high resolution screen. Sorry about that. Uh, has a two megapixel front facing camera. Pretty good. Um, and all the rest of this stuff down here is just about the uh, the camera. What's inside the box? Of course, you got the Maze 4G, the battery, the charger, SIM card, the guides, and terms and conditions. Eh, same stuff with all of them. One thing you need to know about T-Mobile nowadays is look at that. No matter how much the phone costs, fifty dollar restocking fee. They didn't used to do that. Here's the phone. Um, no. looks pretty good. It's actually a good looking phone. What you get inside the box? Um, the start guide. Uh, recycling, terms, conditions, regular stuff, USB, micro USB, um, regular HTC charger, and those weird bags that they have. Um, here's the phone itself. Try not to make it take too long. Um, so let's just see the, the first boot up. Like I said, I already booted this up, so um. Just wanted you guys to see. It does the same regular um, startup everything else has. Fast boot up, really, really fast. No signal, signals there. December 19, 2011. Um, that's basically it. We have the little scrolling thing that we like, the live weather, which everybody loves. Um, of course, I got a million apps in here. One app I want to tell you that I really like is um, the Go, the Go Launcher. Anything that says Go in the marketplace is really good. I'm getting the emails. Um, for a second, let's just look around the phone though. Um, you get your USB, and um, I think it's an HDMI slot. It doubles as a HDMI slot. On the left hand side, the bottom just a speaker and the door release. Um, on the other side, we have the still camera and the uh, video recorder. Um, sorry about that. Uh, the volume rocker. On the top, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power button. On the back, we have our 8 megapixel camera with the dual LED flash. Um, speaker grill and um, HTC that little metal thing um, it looks pretty good it's a good phone I still like my Galaxy S but um, for a person who really likes HTC and I really like HTC and I really like Samsung but I just really like the the colors on the um, the Samsung phone they're just really bright I mean this phone is it's kind of actually it's kind of bright you wouldn't know from that background that I have on there but it's kind of bright and I love this little scrolling thing so um you see these are kind of apps I got for zombie veil and stuff like that but it comes with the regular um, T-Mobile apps So it has like the more for me, my device, that's not even a thing. Uh, T-Mobile name ID, T-Mobile TV, quick video, visual voicemail. Um, this just comes with regular stuff. Um, it's really good. I would like to show you like the camera right quick on it for a second. 
if I could. It looks kind of yellow on here, but I mean, it's a really, really good camera. You can tap on it and get it to do that, and it's just like, you can just keep taking pictures with it. And all your pictures come out looking good. It's quick camera, probably one of the best. You know, I still love my Galaxy S phones. My Sprint one is probably at the top. I just don't like Sprint's um, reception or their antenna, rather. Why I live was not good. Um, so that's it. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, write some comments down. You know, subscribe to my page and hopefully I'll do better as we go on.